Hello you guys, namaste. This is me, Diara. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another pick a card reading about love. This is a love reading and this will bring you some insights and updated um, energy information about your person. This is probably a crush of yours or maybe an ex. It can be basically about anybody. Okay, not necessarily only love related, but I will read these cards today as if this is about love, okay, for every one of you. So just take what resonates and probably try to make it fit into your personal um, situation if it's not um, love related. By the way, what I really wanted to say before I start today, because oftentimes I do say it at the end of a reading, um, <clears throat> which is a little bit too late, I guess. Um, so only pile number three can hear it. Um, please, you guys, um, subscribe to my channel. I see this as a little bit an energy exchange. I provide these free readings and you subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And then also, um, since I've uploaded more than 200 readings already, um, may I ask you to scroll um, through this videos and to find your timeless readings also amongst those older videos, okay? Just because the videos are a little bit older, let's just say you will find a reading from last year, September, or maybe last year, March, still they may apply, okay? These are all timeless readings. And I, I tell you why. I mean, I just did a reading for myself, one of my own readings from last year um, about my current situation. And I have to tell you, I mean, it was so on point. It was almost spooky, really. I'm not over exaggerated because I want to, I don't know, uh, merchandise myself here. Um, uh, it is really, I mean, this is so um, interesting how these videos work, right? They are... I mean, this is all the law of attraction, basically, that we are talking about. You find the right reading at the perfectly right time, and this video will bring you the exact um, right information, okay, that you are meant to hear. So always keep that in mind, and don't forget about the older videos, okay? Um, okay, so now let's get started, you guys. Um, this is all about how does your person act versus how they feel. Okay, so what do they hide? What do they not show you? And how do they act on the surface? Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Go ahead, make your choice. If you need a little longer, feel free to press the pause button. I think you know how it goes, right? So, pile number one, people. How does your person act like? When you meet them, when you run into each other, maybe you work together, maybe you don't see each other so regularly, maybe just once a week or maybe even less, I don't know. But how do they act in front of you? What do they show you? What's this person like? Okay, this person seems to be very friendly towards you. Probably they even ask you out for dates. Maybe there was an invitation for a party or any other kind of gathering. They act very friendly, very um, respectful. This is the page of cups that we are talking about. This is very young energy. Pages do always represent people who are a little bit younger. Okay, I don't know how old you are and I don't know how old your person is. I mean, obviously, this is still a general reading. Okay, um, I read for a lot of people all around the world and everyone's different. But um, the energy that we do see here is very juvenile. Okay, fresh, um, adventurous, probably also spontaneous. Um, and I do not see any malicious um, ways of acting here. I would be, I, 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 I couldn't think that you guys uh, recently had a fight or that you are arguing a lot. This card is, um, I mean, if so, this card is speaking about reconciliation as well. 
right? Reconciliation, saying, hey, you know what? I'm sorry. I was selfish. I was stupid. Can you forgive me? Can you give me another chance? Okay, this guy is offering you something, obviously. And this is how they act towards you. Um, so maybe this is a job-related situation. So they offered you a job or a new project or more money or whatnot or um, they want to work with you they they called you recently you know like asking you if you have time to work with them something like that once again not for everyone this is meant to be a love reading um, just the minority I assume but still right so yeah this person acts friendly and um, no bad malicious things going on here um, at least not at the surface I mean, this is the thing. I mean, I do this reading because sometimes what you do see is not what really is going on underneath the surface, right? This is the reason why I am doing this reading in the first place. Um, so this person acts friendly and nice. Okay, this is how they act. This is how you pursue this person. When you run into each other, when you have a contact, this person is helpful, courteous, right? Um, very nice energy. So, but what is really going on? Also could be that this person is um, acting in a platonic way towards you. Although it's cups and cups do represent feelings and emotions, but still could be that you are at a very early stage and so far you cannot really tell whether this is just friendship or romantic feelings going on. So this is why we will have a look now into these cards here. Okay, um, what is really going on inside of this person, your person? How do they feel versus how they act? Nine of Cups and the Good Woman, clarified by get help from friends. So I feel like this person likes you. This person really likes you. They are not playing that they like you. They are not just acting as if they would like you, but uh, in reality, they hate you. No, um, I feel like this is friendship. At least this is friendship. Maybe later, you never know, this friendly energy can turn into something more if you are interested into that but what you do get so far right now is friendship and this is better than nothing isn't it i mean um you can start from this point and a lot of people i just heard another reading one a reader once saying that hey it's not the baddest place to start from right um it's good to start as friends and then slowly but surely developing more if there is the potential for more. And I do see that there are feelings. I do see that there are feelings and I do see that they perceive you in a very positive, optimistic way. They feel like you are a good person. We have the good woman here and there's nothing bad about this card. It's a good woman. It is not necessarily the one that you are in love with crazily, you know, and that you dream about and you can't stop thinking about this person, but at least they do see you as a very positive person. Right, a very positive person, someone that they would like to spend a little bit more time with or they would like to work with more, you know, they can definitely imagine things uh, to happen with you on whatsoever level. Um, I hope you are okay with this level. Maybe you're not, maybe you hope for a little bit more. Um, but so far what you get is friendship. Okay, um, let's get some clarification. Maybe we do get another insight. Is there anything else that Spirit would like to share with you in order to see how they feel for you? Okay, message in a bottle and moving on. Probably, first of all, you have to give it a little bit more time unless you can say whether or not they will develop romantic feelings for you, okay? Maybe also this card is letting us know that first of all, they have to let go another situation and another person. This card says moving on and it came out in reverse. So I feel like um, intuitively, my gut feeling is telling me that it could be that this person is still blocked you know, this person is still involved in another relationship. And this is why they keep it a little bit more on the friendship side. 
Message in the bottle, also in reverse, by the way, um, is letting me know that still there is potential and you will hear from this person and um, the contact will probably even increase in the future. Okay. Um, I would say this is a 50-50 situation. Right now, what you do have is friendship. This is what you do have for sure. This is, you know, like set in stone. This is friendship. This has the potential for friendship. Good working together, you know, um, being a good combination, exchanging, um, I don't know, whatever there is that you can exchange with each other. And they do see you in a high light. And Spirit is bringing you this card as well at the end. Uh, which says stay optimistic, stay optimistic. So yeah, I, I say it. I think it's a 50-50 for you. For me, this is a 50-50. It starts with friendship and it um, could very likely be that over the time it will develop into something more. But this person, first of all, they have to let go of something. They have to release something. They have to deal with some other obligations before they can really develop feelings for you. Right now is simply not the best timing for them. Okay, they are not open enough for friendship. And probably also could be that um, making this offer is already a lot for this person. Probably this is already a lot for this person. Probably it's not so much for you in your terms, but for them it is already a lot. Okay, so pile number one, that was this. Now let's move on to those who have chosen pile number two. Pile number two, your person. How do they act? How does your person act? Whenever you guys meet, whenever you run into each other, whenever you are communicating or whenever you see each other, you know, like at the coffee store or whatnot, um, how do they act? Justice. Uh-huh. Right off the bat, I feel like they are keeping a little bit of distance when it comes to you. They are trying to find the right balance when it comes to you. Also, I feel like they are trying to be very fair. They are trying to even out the situation. Probably this could be a three-party situation or at least other people are involved. Maybe there is a choice, some kind of choice that they have to make when it comes to you. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm just saying what I'm feeling here, okay? I'm an intuitive reader. Um, I feel like, once again, they are... There's, at least one other person involved. Maybe this is a three-party situation. Maybe, you know, like this is someone who's in a marriage, someone who is already taken, who is officially not available, right? Maybe even kids are involved. I'm just creating one scenario here. Maybe this is not exactly your scenario, but maybe you still can feel yourself here um, a little bit at least. Um, if not, maybe this is not your pile because I really feel like in this case, pile number two, uh, we are dealing with a three-party situation or at least also for th those of you who are not asking for love, um, maybe this person has different people who applied for the same job. You are one of them. And now they have to make a choice. Which one will they take? Which one will get the job at the end of the day? So I feel like this person is very fair. This is a fair person, maybe a Virgo, a Libra, you know. Um, this is what I feel. A person that is respectful and once again, also a little bit trying to keep the distance as well, right? But not in a bad way. This is what you can feel. Is there anything else? How, do, how does this person act when it comes to you, when you guys see each other? How do they act? They act as if they are... Ah, yeah, interesting. You see, we also have um, six of wands and three of pentacles. Yeah, <laughs> three-party situation, I'm telling you. Three-party situation, definitely. They have to make a choice between you and someone else. Um, they look very successful to you. This is a person of respect. P this is probably even someone who's a little bit popular and famous in, in, your, in your area, you know. Maybe not world famous as Michael Jackson, but um, at least a person who gained a lot in the past. You know, like what they have accomplished so far, they really worked hard 
for these things and um, yeah this is how they act this is what you can see um, and this is how they yeah how they act also especially towards you because this is meant to be a reading about you and this person right how they act towards you they act very successful they act very proud right they act a little distant and also they are always you know like about to make decisions and choices and it's not only you that's involved in this situation for sure not so how do they feel haha -ha. now comes the interesting part how do they feel for you secretly what can you not see when it comes to you specifically when it comes to you and this connection how does your person feel for you the good man and queen of coins clarified by honeymoon I feel like this person likes you. To them, you are the queen of coins. To them, they feel like you are a very wise woman. You know, wisdom. You could be a teacher, a healer type of person, spiritual person, but someone who's still grounded. Okay, it's not that you live only in your fantasy world, you know, like, and you walk around barefoot the whole day and you only wear, I don't know, self-made clothes and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, you are still very grounded, very tangible, you know, like someone who's very um, reliable as well. This is how they see you. This is how they feel for you. This is how they perceive you, whether you see yourself this way or not, but this is how they see you, right? And um, yeah, but still they feel like you are something special and that you do carry a lot of wisdom and gifts and talents inside yourself. Sometimes this card, this woman on this card is represented as a pregnant woman, which says that you carry something inside yourself like a treasure, right? Um, a treasure. Yeah. Do you say it like that? Yes. Um, yeah, this is how they see you. So do we have romantic intentions here? Yes, probably with the honeymoon card. Actually, yes. I feel like they want to move it further. They want to cross waters when it comes to you. They also feel like this is somehow a guided um, situation, you know, like guarded from above, from the angels, from spirit, from universe, however you want to say it. If you believe in God, you can tell it God, you know. Um, and the honeymoon card for me is always because of the ship here and this scenario here. This is obviously Venice and um, this is obviously a couple, you know, like, and this, uh, this you see, the gondolier man, it's an angel. Actually, I don't know, the focus is bad, but if you know these cards, you see this, these massive wings, um, the boatman, maybe the couple doesn't know that the boatman is an angel in reality, maybe they can't see it, but um, this is why I'm saying this is a guarded and guided situation. It has to do with divine timing and divine um, intervention also, okay, so... The good man, to me, it represents that this person is, again, trying to to act according to the books, you know. Um, they don't want to make anything wrong. They don't want to be too harsh and too fast forward. This is probably why they act a little bit distant, because they don't want to make something wrong. Do you know what I mean? They want to make everything in the right order. Um, and probably they feel that... It has to be this way, you know, especially if others are involved. Probably you feel like this person is a little bit slow and maybe, yes, they are, but um, they don't make it in a bad way. Do we get some more clarification here about how they feel for you? How does your person feel for you? Pile number two. What about this person's deepest feelings and intentions when it comes to you in particular? Yeah, you say, yeah, wow, I love my cards. 
I love my cards. Today when I woke up, I had this intention to do this reading, although I just uploaded another reading two, two days before. And actually, I am a little bit short of time today, but still I wanted to do this reading and now I know why. I'm telling you, this is a guarded and guided situation. This is the fate card, Fetum, the fates, right? This speaks about destiny, karma divine timing, divine intervention. This situation is meant to be. Let it flow. Let it develop the way it wants to develop in its own timing with the flow. Okay, again, water, ship, you know. So um, also a little bit crossroad situation, right? Um, a lot of karma is involved. Um, maybe you guys know each other from other lifetimes, if you believe in stuff like that. Maybe you are soulmates. Maybe we don't have the soulmates card here, but still maybe you guys are karmic partners, right? You were meant to step into each other. You were meant to meet in this lifetime in order so you can work your karma out, vice versa. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will end up as a love couple. I know this is what you want to hear now, but sometimes it goes differently. Um, you can be soulmates, but still you will not end up as a love couple. And although this is probably not what you want to hear today, this is what spirit is giving you as an information, okay? Just take it or don't take it. Go with the flow. At the end of the day, spirit wants you to go with the flow. And this is also what this person is trying to do. They want to go with the flow. They don't want to be too fast forward and they don't want to destroy energies here. This is why they keep it so slow. This is why they, they are like, hey, you know what? If universe, if spirit... If they really, really want us to be together, you know, like if this is really the person that's meant to be for me, we will be together eventually, sooner or later, right? I mean, if spirit wants this, if this is a guarded situation, if spirit is watching us, they will step in sooner or later in order to bring us together. And this is the mindset of this person, I feel. And this is supposed to be also your mindset in this situation. Okay, trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling, right? Trust whatever it is that you feel when it comes to this person and this situation and just allow the situation to unfold naturally, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. If this is meant to be, it will be. And no one can take it away from you. Right? You deserve to be loved. Either, you know, like whether if this is the person that wants to love you or at the end of the day it turns out that someone else is coming, you deserve to be loved, okay? So don't you worry about it. You deserve it. You will reach your goal. You will finally make it. You will cross the line sooner or later. You will make it over to the other side where there is a lot of abundance and love and romantic feelings for you, okay? Um, so just give it a little bit more time, pile number two. This is your message. Give it a little bit more time. It's all good. There's nothing bad going on. This is not a cheater. This is not someone who's just playing, you know. Um, no, this is a good person. And um, I feel like currently what you see is what you get, I want to say. Okay, what you see is what you get. Easy as that. Part number three, your person, your situation, how they feel versus how they act. But we will start the other way around. We will first of all have a look into what you can see. How does this person treat you? How do they act? You know, like um, when you see each other, whenever that is and however that is and how often it may be that you see each other. But this, this is also for you. If this card doesn't fit into your situation, then you know that this reading is not meant for you. Right, And you will probably better choose another reading. What I said in the beginning, I uploaded more than 200 readings so far. So feel free to discover all the other readings. Also the older ones from last year and stuff. Um, but anyway, so this is our stepping stone. How does this person treat you right now? How do they act? Knight of Coins. This is a slow moving person. <laughs> very slow moving person 
The cut wanted to come out in reverse. Probably you've seen that when I turned the card around. It was in reverse. So maybe this person is not doing a thing towards you. I could imagine that you guys, part number three, you really have no clue about how this person feels for you. And this is exactly the reason why you came to this reading, right? Makes sense. Um, this is a standstill situation. This person is watching you from afar. This person is not doing a thing. They don't call you, they don't text you, they probably don't even look at you, right? This is a very guarded person. They have their guards up, their walls up. This person has been hurt in the past a lot. You may know that, you may not know that. Maybe you think you know it, but you don't know. You can never really know what's going on in someone else's life, right? I just heard, you know, like, you know, I'm a yoga teacher and sometimes I do choreograph little yoga sequences to one specific song and the song that I did a sequence for last night name the song's name is invisible and I like this um, the lyrics of this song because you know like although we are so visible these days you know like with Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and we can upload a lot of pictures every single day probably also twice a day three times a day you know like we can comment other people's posts and whatnot so actually we are so visible more than ever right but still still we are invisible because you can never know what's really going on Right? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that you can see someone every single day? You probably work with someone, you know, like this is a colleague. This can be about your sister, your brother, your mother, but still you don't know them. Still could be that one day you find out something and you will be like, what? You know what I mean? And I think you know what I mean. And Always be a little bit cautious when it comes to um, judging someone or making any kind of assumptions like, yes, this person has been hurt in the past and this is why they act towards me um, this way, right? I mean, yes, maybe it's like that. Maybe it's easy as that. Maybe this person has been hurt and this is why they are a little bit cautious. But probably it could also be that this person is simply not that much into you. And this is why they don't treat you. This is why they are stagnant. This is why they don't pursue you, right? Um, you never know. So always be a little bit careful when it comes to assumptions about someone else. But what I can let you know here for sure is that this person is not making a move towards you. They are just observing you. And this is a very slow person here in general, okay? Maybe an earth sign. It's coins, so it could be that this is an earth sign. So how do they feel? Okay, more coins, <laughs> more pentacles. How do they secretly feel for you? Worries and eight of coins. Clarified by the deception card. How do they feel for you? So one thing's for sure, they are not letting you know how they feel. They are definitely not letting you know how they truly, really feel for you. Okay, the, this person is kind of playing a role. They are acting in a certain way, whatever way that is, you know, like you know best, this is a general reading. I cannot, you know, like tell for every single one out there um, how this person acts specifically, but um, I can let you know that this person is um, playing a role and you, what you see is definitely not what's going on in reality. But this person is doing this purposely, not for malicious reasons though, I really point that out because this person is sad. This person is sad. This person is dealing with things right now. I don't know, maybe something is going on at home, you know, like with their parents or um, other stuff. Maybe this person has some self-esteem issues going on and these are, I don't know, affecting this person's life right now Im immense. You know, like if you have self-esteem issues, this can be different every day and in every situation, okay? It could be that you are 
um, a very successful person when it comes to job. When, but when it comes to your love life, you are a disaster, you know, like a complete catastrophe, so to say. Yeah, or vice versa. Maybe you have a family, you have kids, you have the house, you have the garden, you have the ring, you know, you have a lot of friends. But when it comes to your job, it's not working out at all, right? This, these are probably extreme examples, I know. But um, I just want to say that behind the surface... This person is sad right now. This person is thinking a lot about love, about life, maybe about you. Maybe there has been a fight or some kind of separation between you guys. I mean, I'm trying to read the energy for you here, you know, like how this person feels for you when it comes to you. And the good news here is that they want to work it out. They want to work it out. They are definitely um, willing to deal with it. Eight of coins is the card of um, the trainee. You know, like someone who knows that still this is a long way to go. And it's not always easy. It's not always only fun, you know. Especially when you train for something. You know, there's a lot of failure in between going on every now and then you know it's not always working out bam just like that easily you know um but they are willing to make it happen at least they are willing to one day dropping the mask that they are wearing right now okay let's get some clarification here this is interesting What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's feelings for you? What's going on right now? What do we need to know about this person's feelings for you? Maybe children are involved. Maybe this person is already married or just coming out of a relationship. Maybe this person is divorced and still, and still dealing with the side effects, you know, like the after effects of this um, divorce. Maybe it costs a lot of money. Maybe they are separated right now from their kids. Or if they would get divorced because of you, let's say it like that. I mean, hey, that would be the happy end for you, right? Let's just say um, this person is willing to get divorced just because of you, just because of you and this love that you have going on. But still, children are affecting your love life. You know, like getting divorced and probably not being able to be with their children anymore is making this person very, very sad, right? This is just a fact, okay? This is a given fact. And also we have the unrequited love card here. It came out in reverse though. I don't know whether this plays a role or not. Um, so some kind of unrequited love Is, is going on here as well. Um, the cards are letting you know that, hey, you know what, stay, op op stay optimistic when it comes to your love life. So I feel like, since this is a general reading, allow me to say that in some cases out there, it could be that this person is not in love with you and they probably never will be, okay? It could be that The deception card came out to let you know that there is no such thing as love going on. And you may be thinking and hoping that they love you and that they are developing a crush on you. But the truth is that no, the chemistry is not strong enough to develop such a connection between you guys. Okay, it's easy as that. It's simple as that. We have the unrequited love card here and we have to respect this card, right? Um, nevertheless, once again, stay optimistic when it comes to your love life. If not this person, someone else will be willing to make the work for you. Okay, so whether whatever is going on in your connection, and I know these are a lot of cards and a lot of messages that I have to give to you here today, but this is what I'm getting, you know. Um, it's a very interesting reading. I think the one thing that's for sure is that this person is sad right now. This is really, really what I can guarantee you. 
this person is sad and this is the reason why they are not pursuing you right now. This is the reason where the, why there is some kind of standstill going on between you guys, okay? Because this person is dealing with shit. This person has a lot of things on their plate. They have to work out first of all, okay? There's a lot to do for this person, okay? A lot, big time. Okay, this is probably also a hard worker, you know, someone who's very much into their work, very much into their career and finances. And before they will make a move, before they will come to you, they have to work it out, right? They have to work it out. Final card. Oh, we have a flipper. Milk and honey flipped out. Wow. I still feel like... For some of you, there is potential and there will be a happy ending, whether with this person or someone else. It depends. Also, it depends on whether you are willing to wait that long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is also probably a question that you could ask yourself. Are you willing to wait? Are you willing to wait until this person has dealt with all their shit and with their career and their finances and the divorce and whatnot. I don't know. Are you willing to wait that long? Because you don't know how long it will take this person. This is a slow person. Could, could be a decade for some of you. 10 years. I mean, imagine that. 10 years. Are you really sure you want to wait 10 years? Just a question, okay? But still... I do see that there is potential for some of you. With the milk and honey card, you know, like 51 is six as a quintessence, you know. Again, bad focus, but still, this card number is 51. And if you combine this, it, it comes to a six. And six is always the number of choices. Decisions have to be made, okay? And if this person is making the right decisions... Yes, I do see potential for you guys. I definitely do see potential for you and them. Yeah, just go with the flow, okay? Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Allow the situation to just flow, you know, everything that wants to happen is allowed to happen, you know, be open, be optimistic, stay positive. Don't you put pressure on this person. Don't you expect uh, a very fast moving energy because this is most likely not what's happening. It takes time for sure. This is a message about time. Okay. It will take time. And, um, well, once again, if you are not willing to wait that long, or if this person is actually too slow, then you never know what the really, the real final outcome is going to be. But, um, for you, what should you do in this situation? Is there anything you can do? No. Just relax, chill, and go with the flow, you guys. Pile number three, okay? Just go with the flow and trust. Trust that if this is meant to be, it will be. Okay? So, this is it, you guys. That was your reading. I'm wishing you all the best. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Namaste. Bye. See you with the next reading, you guys. Thanks for being with me. Bye.